Good morning, my friends. It is Friday of the 19th week in Ordinary Time. We're going to talk about God's providence and also his plan for our life. We read in the, the book of Joshua, chapter 24. So Joshua gathers the tribes of Israel together, summoning the elders, their leaders, their judges, and their officers. And God wants to speak through him to, to show the people how faithful he is. Um, so he says, the beginning back here, um, the, you know, in times past, your fathers down to Terah, father of Abraham and, Nate, and Nahor, dwelt in the river. But I brought your father Abraham from the region. I made his descendants numerous. Remember, Abraham and could not have any children. And um, in their old age, they were able to conceive and, and bear uh, Isaac, and then uh, to Isaac he gave Jacob and Esau. Uh, then he goes on to say, Then I sent Moses and Aaron and smote Egypt with prod prodigies. Um, and then the Egyptians followed them, and I, I parted the Red Sea. You know, I fed them in the desert. I, I brought you uh, through the Jordan River, eventually to the Holy Land. Each step along the way, God was saying, I'm with you. Even when it looked impossible, like uh, Abraham having children, uh, even when it seemed like the enemies were way more numerous than they had soldiers, God brought them through. Facing the mighty Egyptians, God brought them through. God saying, I, I have been with you, I am with you, and I always will be with you. With that in mind, we, we go to the gospel, and this can be a, a challenging gospel, uh, especially today when we see, you know, some 50% of marriages ending in divorce. The Pharisees approached Jesus and said, is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife for any cause, whatever? And Jesus says, have you not read that from the beginning, the creator made them male and female and said, for this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife and the two shall become one flesh. So God blesses these marriages and we believe so, and, and God believes so powerfully in, in the, the beauty of marriage that, you know, the two become one flesh. And so what God makes one, uh, he says, let no man, uh, let no man separate. So they said to him, then, then why did Moses command that the man give the woman a bill of divorce and dismiss her? So they go back into the Old Testament and Jesus says, because of the hardness of your hearts, Moses allowed you to divorce your wives. But from the beginning, it was not so. So they, they kept pressing on Moses uh, for divorce. And he's like, you know, you're going to do what you want. So, you know, go ahead and do it. But it's not what God's plan is. Um, so I say to you, uh, whoever divorces his wife, unless the marriage is unlawful and marries another, commits adultery. Um, and so that's why the church has uh, um, the annulment process. And, and that's a whole other topic I want to maybe get into uh, another day. Um, but because it says it here in Scripture, it comes right from Jesus' mouth that we can't just have people divorce and then remarry without some kind of process at, at looking at the marriage. And annulment doesn't mean the first marriage never, never happened. Uh, you know, there's a, there's a legal marriage. Children in any, any marriage are legitimate. Uh, what the annulment says is that is the sacramental marriage present there, um, where the two people at the moment of consent really freely able to give themselves to one another. Again, another topic, and we can go into more depth. Um, and then he goes on to talk about, you know, they said, well, should anybody get married then? This is really hard. And he says, basically saying, whatever you're called to, that's what you should do. You know, some are called to, to priesthood, religious life, consecrated single life. Uh, most people are called to marriage. But God is providential. Going back to the first reading, God wants to be with you in the good times and bad and sickness and health. And he wants to help you through the difficult times. Now, I do realize that some of you are watching, you know, or maybe have had very difficult marriages. Maybe there was abuse. Maybe there's situations that each, each individual situation can be different. Know that God's intention for marriage is to be forever, uh, but sometimes individuals and in marriages uh, make it impossible. So I don't wanna say you have to stay in marriages, 
no matter what, no matter what, um, what here the Lord is saying, the importance is if you get a divorce and remarry without uh, some kind of process like the annulment process that we have, you're committing adultery and, and that's sinful. Difficult words, but God wants you to know that he's, as we hear in the, the psalm today, his mercy endures forever. God is with you in this. And so uh, these words are not meant to shame us. They're not meant to condemn us. God wants to help you through whatever situation you're in. He is providential and will, will love you in and through it. And uh, the church will as well. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for your providence. You're always being with us on this journey. We ask you to bless in a special way those couples uh, who are going through difficult times in their marriage, those who may have gone through a divorce, those who are really have suffered through physical, verbal, emotional abuse. We ask for your healing hand upon them. Help us, all of us, uh, through the difficult times in our vocations. For we know that you are with us always. We thank you for that. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a blessed day, and we'll see you tomorrow.